What's up guys, welcome back to your Arsenal career mode. Now before we go any further, I just need to make you aware of this. So, I recorded this entire episode for you. All of these games, Leicester, Wolves, Sevilla, home and away, Burnley, Sheffield United and Newcastle. And we had some fantastic games, goals and moments. But, on typical fashion, something had to go wrong, didn't it? The audio file corrupt and it was all jagged and it sounded horrible. So I didn't want to put out poor content for you guys. So to start today's episode, let's just run through what happened in these games that you missed. Now we have got through into the quarterfinals of the Europa League. We beat Sevilla 3-0 and then we drew a boring game 0-0 as well after that. So we're through into the quarterfinals. We're out of the FA Cup. We lost 3-0 on the simulator against Leicester. Wasn't bothered about the FA Cup. It's all about the Carabao Cup win. We've got Europa League and Premier League success potentially this year. Now, we smashed Wolves a Bamyang hat-trick on absolute fire. Then a 1-0 against Burnley, thanks to Bukayo Saka. A 2-1 hard-fought win then again against Sheffield United. That was all down to Cunha. And then a 2-0 win against Newcastle, Alba Brace. So, it was going to be called the episode... All but on flames because he was absolutely on flames. But again, no point putting out poor content for you. So we're crack on today with some fantastic games starting next against Leeds. All right then, guys. This is the team sheet. A rotated team today with Martinelli, Nelson and Zaha, Soler, Maitland-Niles and Ozil back in the team. Maybe one of his final games for the club. Firpo, Pablo Marie, Saliba, Carrera and Sam Johnson in goal. Rotated team because just four days away from our away leg in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. So we're going to quick sim this one away to Leeds. Fingers crossed we pick up a big and a very important 1-0 win thanks to Gabriel Martinelli. He's turning in to some finisher now. He's getting Deadly in front of goal. And when we've got a Bamyang and him, it spells danger for anyone. And hopefully that spells danger for the next game. We're going to be jumping into it right now. Raul Sociedad versus Arsenal. Here we go then. A trip to Spain. A trip to play Raul Sociedad. They are a very, very good side. But in my opinion, with the squad we've got, I feel like we should... And we will be getting ourselves through this tie, hopefully into the semis. But in Europe, you never know what's going to be thrown at you. So, here we go. Big game in Spain. Kick off. Let's do it. Oh, Canate's given that away. Well done, Canate. Into party. Into Ceballos. This is just the way we play now. Into a Bamiang. Sabas and a Bamiang have a quality partnership. And it is shown inside six minutes. A Bamiang puts us 1 0 up almost from kickoff. Wow. What a start. It is so typical. Ball from the fullback into Partey. Up the midfield to Sabas. Slide ball for a Bamiang's run. And a Bamiang scores. What a start in this game. Thanks to Aubameyang yet again. Six European goals now in Europa League. And we lead 1-0. Sabayos to Aubameyang. On to Saka. Who's ahead of Zaha today. Saka. His shot is a big save. It could have been two. Saka is becoming, wow, some player. And I cannot wait to watch him grow even more. On the ball again now, Saka. Into Ceballos. Back to Saka. Into Cunha. Fouled. He is. Is that on the edge of the box or is it in the box? It's extremely close. What is the referee's call here? No booking, which tells me it's probably going to be a free kick. And it is on the very edge of that box. What we're going to do is we're going to roll this. We're going to hit it with Cunha. Oh, it's closed down. And maybe that wasn't the best choice because Raul Sociedad... Get away with that. Gabriel looking for a pass forwards. That's to Ceballos now. Into a Bamiang is going to turn and shoot. Oh my frick. Wow. I said in the last episode, Pierre-Emerick or Bamiang on flames. 
what is he now? He's literally just a ball of fire. This guy is incredible. Wow, his movement, his first touch, his finish is absolutely perfection. Wow. 2 0 away from home. Could be cut could be set tight. This could be the tie done. They really should have hung out a little bit longer. David Silva now into par two. Chance. He was like caught in two minds there between his shot and the cross. And he didn't really do either. And it was bang average. A really big opportunity. They got him behind for the first time. And they wasted their chance. Oh, it's a good bit of play from Rouse. We'll see that they're in behind again. I think it's the same player. He's got caught in two minds. He didn't know if to shoot or cross. And in the end, he's done neither. They've kept the ball on though with poor two. Poor two tackled by Tierney. Well done. And again, they waste another chance. Coming forward again with David Silva. Ilara Mendy given away. And we get away with that last attack. It's half time. It's 2 0 in a very, very comfortable position at this point. David Silva now into William Jose. Good tackle from Gabriel. And he has saved out Bacon. Cunha into Alba, onto Ceballos, out there for Saka maybe, a hell of a lot of space for him, he's got a score, yes, Bakayo Saka, the teenage sensation, scores for Arsenal in a European quarter-final away leg, get in there, for me now at 3-0, I think that could be tie over, I don't see them coming to the Emirates and beating us by that, I really don't, I think we may have wrapped it up in the first leg of this quarter-final. What a performance from the boys. Excellent. And three goals now for Saka in the Europa League. William Jose flicked on. Cannot clear it. William Jose again into David Silva. Back to Jose. And they do have their goal. And to be fair, they've been wasteful today. And if they hadn't have been wasteful, they may have scored a few more. They are potentially, potentially... Back in this tie. 3-1. They're definitely not dead and buried like they were before. And here come the subs there. Martinelli, Zaha as well. And Soler. Just to see this game out. Jose comes off for them. And Isaac on. And Ilar Mendy off as well. Ten minutes to go, boys. Oh, Marino. No, no, no. Oh, my God. That would be a disaster. No. It would be an absolute disaster if this ended 3-2. Oh, they've hit the post. Wow, we've got away with that, haven't we? We've absolutely got away with one there. I think that will probably be game, set and match. It is. The away leg finishes Arsenal 3, Real Sociedad 1. But to be honest, it could have been any scoreline you like. They had chances... We had chances, but we come away with three excellent away goals. Okay then, guys. Next up, back in the Premier League against Brighton. 15th position. We are in second. You can see three points off the top. Man City, who did win their game. Brighton next then at the Emirates. This is the team. Zaha, Martinelli and Nelson with Solea, Willock, Maitland-Niles, Firpo, Pablo Marie. Saliba, Aarons and of course Sam Johnson now in goal. So a rotated team for today's game because we have three more days to the home leg in that quarterfinals of the Europa League. So let's jump into this with the rotated team. We're going to play it and let's see how some of our squad players are going to play. Here we go then, lad Zaha warming up. He's got to earn his place back because at the minute, Saka, in my eyes, is our starting left winger. He's been absolutely excellent in the Europa League, earning him a first team slot. So Zaha needs to do something today to prove why he needs to start ahead of the teenage sensation. Let's do it then, guys. Back at the Emirates, back at home in front of the Arsenal fans. Time to put on a show. Might be able to wiggle some room. He loses the ball. I think he found his man. Referee said it's just a coming together. Soler back to Martinelli. Don't think Brighton would be happy if we score from this with Martinelli. Oh, it's off the post. 
God, his pace and agility just makes defenders look so bad. Such a good player. And Maitland-Niles has won it very high up. Ainsley! What a last-ditch tackle. Brighton. They can thank him for that because we should be 1-0 up. Do. A lot of bodies forward. We've got to be careful. He's a very, very good striker. That's a great ball into Mitrovic. They've got a man over here. Mitrovic selfishly doesn't put the ball across. And what a waste. If he had put the ball across, it was a simple tap-in. It would have been a 1-0 lead for Brighton. Opportunity missed. Don't know what's happening with this back four, but I don't like it. Bardu into Mitrovic. And a good tackle in the end. I think that's from Firpo. He saved our bacon again. We need to wake up at the back. It's going to go in at half time. A corner for Brighton. The last opportunity. It's off the bar. And we escape. Well, escape that massive chance to go 1 0 down. That's a hell of a hit. Wow, that is seriously funded in at Sam Johnson. He's never going to say that if it's on target. Thankfully for us, it's hit the bar. And that should see us through to half time. It's 0 0. We need to change a few things because something is a bit off today with this team. Half time, nil nil. Zaha, done well, come inside very easily. Knocked that on for Solea. Into Martinelli. Back into Zaha, who should finish. He does finish. And he puts us 1 nil up in this tie. We've taken a 1 nil lead. Zaha in the second half has looked dangerous. And there we go. He scored. I think the changes, though, of Nelson off, Saka on, and uh, who else did we took? We took off Willock and brought on Partey. They definitely have improved this side dramatically, and Zaha has finished excellently. 1-0 up then at home against Brighton. Seven Premier League goals for Zaha. Get that out to uh, Zaha, into Firpo, back to Zaha. Brilliant play from them on that side. Zaha swings it in. It's going to drop us it for Ainsley. Yes, it is. His header was absolutely emphatic into the very top corner. And he cannot believe he scored with his head. That's a really good finish. And we now lead 2-0. I'd probably say that's Brian's hopes for a point or all three over. Look, he's dropped. And he's won that header really well. And he's really headed it with some power. Second goal in the Prem then for Ainsley this year. And it is 73 minutes gone, 2-0. Two two, Saliba. It's Pablo Mari. Oh my god, what have I done? What have I done? Actually, no, what have you done, Pablo Mari? Your passing's absolutely terrible. He seriously just punched it straight into him. Look. Oh, my. That is just ridiculous. Well, there we go. Classic Arsenal giving away a stupid goal at the back. 2-1. Five minutes left. We put ourselves under totally unnecessary pressure. Lalana. Pablo Mari. He's well out of position. He's all the way over this side. What is he doing? They're going to get it level, aren't they? Oh my god, we may have just thrown away the Premier League. Wow. I cannot actually believe that we're going to drop points. That is a shock. You can see the Brighton fans in their blue and yellow going absolutely mental at the Emirates. They've got it back to two each. I can't believe we've conceded there. And Pablo Mari out of position again. He's at fault for both of their late goals. And we've dropped points. There we go then, guys. Oh, I do not believe we've drawn today. This should have been a simple win. We have thrown the result away. Arsenal fans are not happy. Oh, God. I rotated the team. We did well, but we've just... I can't, I can't say anything other than stupid errors. Okay, guys. A shocking... Shocking way to drop points at home against Brighton. Giving away two late goals like that. It's just ridiculous. We're back in Europa League action. We've got to fully focus on this. Because it's 3-1. 
it's definitely not tie over in Europe. And the way we've been giving away goals, it's definitely not tie over. But we're going to go back to our main team, who have been excellent performers. Bamyang, Saka and Hakimi, Cunha, Sabas and Partey. And the back four, no Pablo Mari, of course. Tierney, Gabriel, Kunate, Walker Peters and Leno in goal. Let's do it then. 3-1 up on aggregate. Time to welcome the Spanish Real Sociedad to the Emirates. The Emirates full capacity here for the second leg of the European Cup, the Europa League quarter finals. It is packed to the brim. Some top quality players on the show tonight. David Silva back in England. Yanazai back in England. Marino, formerly of Newcastle, back in England. Monreal back in England and back against Arsenal. This is a huge tie. We lead it three goals to one. But we know the tie is not done yet. The tie is not nearly done yet. We're going to need people like Thomas Partey on top form today. It starts now. He's going to slide that for Hakimi. Hakimi fancies his chances, doesn't he, early? Doors Hakimi! Big save. A huge save, but Hakimi's won it back. Another stop. That could have been the game that settled the tie, and it could have been inside 10 minutes. Bamiang. Slide that for Saka. Bukayo Saka. Big opportunity. Oh, he's dragged it so far wide. So far wide. Oh, that is a... God, that's a late tackle. That is a very late tackle. And he's very lucky that we haven't been called back and given a penalty for that. Wow. Ceballos. It's a Cunha. On to Hakimi. He's going to swing it in early towards Aubameyang. Oh, what a save. What a save to keep it nil-nil. We've had so many chances inside 23 minutes, but yet we haven't scored. What a stop. Corner then. Tierney to bend this one in towards Aubameyang. Drop at the back post maybe for Ceballos. He was caught. But so was the ball. To Alba. Into Hakimi. Swings it across towards Ceballos. How? How are we not leading in this football match? Wow, what an opportunity missed again. The Emirates cannot believe this game still nil-nil. Love that, good interception, Hakimi. Brushed off the ball by Marino. Marino, it's a really good pass. Odrizabal. Canato's been pulled out towards him. It's left space for Marino in to Fregil. Oh! As if they've scored. How many opportunities have we missed and not scored, yet they have? Oh, my actual days. Well, that's one away goal today. Oh, dear. They are back in this tie, that's for sure. It's 3-2 on aggregate. We are lucky we got them three away goals because this tie is hanging in the balance once again. Canate into Cunha. To Bamiang. All over the top towards Saka. Smacks that one across into Hakimi, maybe! Oh, another save. Seriously, man, this is getting a bit stupid. We need to be scoring these opportunities. Good save again from Moya, but come on. Get the ball in the back of the net, Arsenal. Out to Hakimi again. I'm going to have a shot here. Why not? <laughs> I'm, I'm the same on screen as I am right now. I cannot believe that we haven't managed to score a goal yet. Put it back for Danny Ceballos. Another save. What? I, I don't even know what to say at this point. How many more saves is he going to make in this game? We're going to have to sign him. <laughs> We're going to have to sign Moya for season two. He needs to be our backup keeper because wow. Sobios then bends this one in towards Partey. Doesn't get a clean enough connection on it. That's going to see us through to half time. We're going to be 1-0 down, but still 3-2 up on aggregate, thanks to the away leg. There we go then. Half time. This quarter final hangs in the balance. Gabriel. 
Nice play from us. Cunha. Need him to pull out something special, maybe. Hakimi. Swing this one in towards Aubameyang. Surely! There we go. There is the goal to level it on the night. And extend the lead on aggregate to four goals to two. Surely, finally, that goal we've scored has killed this tie. The Emirates are very happy to finally see the ball in the back of the net. And finally relieve themselves of any lingering doubts that we will be in the last four of this year's Europa League. Brilliant finish by Alba and a world-class cross from Hakimi. To Bamyang into Saka. Saka's just holding on to the ball. Very clever. Oh, he could have gone down there. He didn't. He balls that across. Why didn't he go down? Too much honesty there. He should have gone down and we would have surely got in that penalty. Literally now seconds away from that semi-final draw in the semis of the Europa League. Come on, referee. Put us in the semi-final of the Europa League. We are seriously in now with a shout of winning a European trophy. Just a few games away from it, boys. This team could finally, finally get their hands on a European Cup. Let's do it. Okay, guys, back in Premier League action then against Leicester. We're going to be simming this one. We've got Zaha, Martinelli and Saka, Soler, Partey and Maitland-Niles with Firpo, Gabriel, Saliba, Carrera and Leno in goal. So rotated team because everybody shattered from a fantastic qualification in that quarter finals let's get the result then fingers crossed a positive one and we do we pick up a 2-1 win against Leicester in the league Zaha scored for us in the 62nd to get the win Slomani from them and Junior Firpo scored early doors so another three points in the prem okay guys we're gonna cut the episode there so We've made it through to the semi-finals of this year's Europa League. It looks like we may have blown our chance to win this Premier League title. We are now five points behind City with just four games left. But in the Premier League, you never know. So we'll keep going until the end. Next episode, we'll kick off against Chelsea in a London derby at the Emirates. And also, we'll have the semi-finals. And we have drawn Nice, a fantastic team from the French division. They've got some great youth players and I'm sure their squad is looking exceptional by now. So the next episode may very well be the season finale or it might be the one before the season finale, depending on what happens in that semi-final against Nice. So guys, thanks for watching. Again, apologies for what obviously happened uh, with the games from the previous month. In the recording, it just went wrong. But I hope this episode has made up for it and more. So appreciate your support. Please click on the subscribe button if you're new here and you haven't already. Hit like because that really shows me you're still enjoying the videos and makes me want to continue to make them. So hit the like button as well. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, peace.